one of the most iconic symbols, maybe, of the entire year, makes its appearance in this upcoming holiday of Pesach. It's the matzah. It's everywhere. We eat matzah. We go to the Seder and there's matzah. Once you start messing with our food, we pay attention. And if you ask anybody, why do we eat matzah for? The answer is because a long time ago we were in Egypt and God took us out, but there wasn't enough time for the bread to rise, the dough. So they had to put it on their backs. And so when you have the dough rising on your back in Egypt in the spring, it's like 300 degrees, like a pizza oven. By the time we opened up our bags running out of Egypt, we found matzahs. And so we eat matzahs to remember the day when we ran out for our lives. Does that make sense to anybody? Like, we, that's what we heard, right? But does it make sense? Ten plagues? Like, a year of turning the whole world upside down? And God can't arrange, like, a late checkout? Like, we can't, like, have a cup of coffee and a Danish on the way out? Like, it's, that'll be too much? God found a way to bring in locusts and lions and tigers and darkness and hail, blood through the streets? That's, he could do. But he can't, like, work it out? That, like, on the last day, like, we leave, like, a mensch? You know, we, like, turn around and, like, sweep up the house and, like, you know, lock the door and say goodbye and walk on the streets and, like, you know, shed a tear and the soft music starts to build? Like, we can't do that? A couple of days ago, when they brought the the sheep into the bed, the Egyptians tried to go out and kill them, and God held them back. God couldn't hold them back now. We couldn't have walked out like normal people. We couldn't have let the bread rise. Like, it would have been too long to have, like, the bread just get to a place where, like, it works, and Mom makes the rolls and the wraps and the baguettes, and we put it into our bags with what to eat, really. God's Jewish. Like, you know, he can't deal with the food. (laughs) What in the world? And this is the iconic symbol of the holiday? How about freedom? Like, we ran out of jail? How is this the iconic symbol of the holiday? This is a technical difficulty on the first year that has very little to do with the larger picture of beating the Egyptians and leaving for freedom. So understand that if you're doing something in Judaism... It's because it matters today. We left in the middle of the day. The verse says, Katsos Hayom. Anytime you leave in the middle of the day in in the Torah, it's God setting up for everybody to watch. We don't run out. The slaves don't run out in the middle of the day. You run out in the middle of the night. So this this was synthetic. This was set up by God. We didn't have to run from Egyptians. He made us run for us. Why? So there's a lot of reasons I want to give you one. When I was a kid growing up, there was one of the best running backs was a man named Barry Sanders. Barry Sanders once said that his father told him in the beginning of his young career when he was in college, he was mediocre from what I understand. Maybe in high school, he was mediocre. And he came home one day and he couldn't figure out why. And his father says, because Barry, you're waiting for a hole, right? The lineman set a hole for you to run through with the running back. He goes, you're not going to get a hole. You got to wait for a crease. Don't wait for a hole to run through. It's going to be too late. As soon as you see the smallest opening, the smallest opening, you explode through a crease, not through a hole. What is freedom? How does it work? Well, every single one of us has something we want in life. Relationship. Opportunity. We want a chance, a second chance at something. We want to capture a moment. We want, we want stuff. We want, we want a great life. And in life, we get opportunities to go out and make our lives better. But usually they're packaged in challenge, and usually they come at the wrong time. And once you know that the opportunities that are going to make your life great is a challenge at the wrong time, you're not going to wait for the perfect moment. Because there is no perfect moment. moment. Not for freedom. Not for change. Not for transformation. It always comes at an inconvenient time. You don't walk to freedom. You run to freedom. You don't walk to an opportunity. You run to an opportunity. This is called in Hebrew, zrizus, zrizut, alacrity. 
time is different based on how we use it. And God is telling us, you move through time with alacrity. Everybody has an Egypt. And everybody has the getting out of Egypt. Remember, they didn't get out of Egypt to the promise. And then we got out of Egypt to the desert. And when you see the opportunity to get out of Egypt, you don't wait for the bread to rise. You don't wait for it to come when it comes. God goes, if I say get out, you get out now. I'm going to teach you this. I'm teaching you this lesson. The doors are open for the first time in 210 years. Run. Forget them. It's about you. It's about how you live your life. Don't wait for the bread. Don't wait for it to be convenient. Don't wait for it to be easy. Don't wait for next month when it's a better time to start doing the thing. You see an opportunity, you explode through the crease. You explode through the opportunity. Matzah is not some technical thing that went wrong. Matzah is the symbol of how we become free every day of our lives. Free from the mediocrity that holds us back. Free from the fear and the laziness that keeps us from greatness. You see an opportunity. The matzah reminds you, it's now. And this is this holiday. You may see opportunities to study, to connect, to deepen, to be with people. You may see things you never saw before because you're off. Don't wait. You're eating the matzah. But the goal isn't just to eat the matzah. The goal is to be the matzah. To live with the symbolism of the matzah. Don't let the time pass us. Leverage every second to become the people that we're meant to be.